I am going to discuss about how to find max salary of each department in Power BI. So this is here Power BI desktop and this is the table that I am using employees and now you can see department ID has uh, this or uh, records and here that has so many duplicate values also and here this is the salary columns. So first let's make that on the ascending order. So now you can see 30 has uh, this or total columns are there and this salary. So in department wise I am going to calculate the max salary there. So for this one let's uh, click on this new table and after that here new table option click there now uh, we need to give the meaningful name so giving here max underscore sam and the after let's use here summarize function so with the help of summarize function we can easily calculate max already on department wise so here our table name employees so selecting the employees and let's uh, here employees and using go uh, department id this place and if i run this query then you can see this here department and uh, I did not make that on the group wise and let's uh, select here employee salary now if I run this here you can see this is here department ID and the salary so this is now 40 has only and 50 has so many or rows are there and between this it's hard to find the highest salary okay so now uh, then after here removing go uh, or uh, this part and inside the double quote going to write max sal department wise so max sal that going to find with the department wise so here or uh, the new column that created with the name of this max sal and we need to use here aggregate function so you can see max max or max so but here i'm using max and uh, here give the column name so max id that finding on the employee dot style columns and this is the query that's it now if you press here okay then you can get here on this this is null here so null has 7010 or this and 20 30 11000 so department id if i go on this department id 30 then you can see or uh, this here on this 30 or uh, this is 11000 is the highest salary okay and uh, the next is here on this department id 50 the highest salary is now 8 to double zero 16 here 9000 and 70 10000 so you can compare with your original tables so here this is a 50 and you can compare from here you can is in analyze too so on this department id 50 the higher cell is 8 to double zero after that you can also calculate here mean salary so you need to use here mean aggregate function and after doing this one let's click there on this commit so after calculating here you can see on this 30 lowest side is now 2500 
let's check there department id 30 so 11000 then after this and here 26 okay 2500 is there okay so now you can compare this place 2500 is the mean salary on this or department wise likewise like this you can calculate here average also so average and if i click on this okay so average salary on this 30 4150 40 50 this one so you can also use here mean average aggregate function there and for max rd you need to write here simply max and click on this commit then you can get here this max rd so this is how we can get max rd of each department wise so one time going to repeat so here summarize is the function so first you need to give here the table name and the table column that you want to create here aggregate oh sorry group wise the table column you want to or uh, do here group wise so group wise i'm doing go department id and this place this one is to create the new column and by using here aggregate function max so this calculate here employees or salary max salary means salary there so this is used to create the new columns so this display on there and after that whatever do the calculation there that display so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you